couple of things to get through this week. Let's be honest, can you blame Lewis Hamilton for looking very angry at the end of the Monaco Grand Prix? What were Mercedes thinking, eh? Didn't they learn from the 1992 Monaco Grand Prix? Where, where in similar circumstances, Nigel Mansell built up an enormous lead, only to be called in error into the pits, and to be uh, stuck behind a much slower car, unable to overtake? Well... Let's be kind and say that Lewis was certainly the moral winner of that Grand Prix anyway. On a happier subject, on Bank Holiday Monday, as, as I mentioned before, I went marshalling at Brands Hatch. What can I say? What can I say? What a day it was. I mean... In spite of the half past four in the morning wake up that I had uh, in order to be ready uh, in time to be at the circuit for seven in the morning, I did not even feel remotely tired. That's how pumped with adrenaline I was. Uh, for safety reasons uh, and for reasons so as not to give any false impressions it was not possible for me to film my marshalling day as such I mean let's be honest marshals are there to be around for everybody's safety especially the drivers and spectators you know what impression would it give of someone hand standing there like me with a tablet and filming these cars going past me very very quickly exciting though that would be don't get me wrong but I had to take a sensible pill that day and not film at all so you're gonna have to uh, just take my word for it on that one uh, the main visual change I had to make was uh, we were given these uh, orange high-vis tabards for obvious reasons so that we would be seen um, we were given this small pack here amongst which was a post as to what Marshall's post we would be at you can see there number two Marshall post just before Paddock Hill Bend that's where I was anyway and what a view I had <laughs> I can't explain it it was it, it was the exact position I wanted to be at the end of the Brabham Strait just before Paddock Hill Bend the reason for arriving at the circuit for seven in the morning was so that we could have breakfast actually there and uh, what a filling breakfast it was I, that, that's all that's all I'll say um, going back to the aforementioned pack, the second slip of paper here, um, it's basically a timetable of uh, what events were happening. So it was qualifying events first and ultimately races as the day went on. Um, there were some good uh, series on. Especially these historic touring cars. Feels weird to think of my period of uh, touring cars, the 1990s, the ones I went to see at Brands Hatch twice in two years, as being historical. But yeah, they're still good anyway. Especially some old timers that were there, like uh, good old John Cleland. On a serious note, though, good, good though the day was, I'll, I'd even go so far as to say it was one of the best days of my life. Marshalling is, well, can be 
quite an exposed experience. It can be quite dangerous. So it, it was nice when I was there that uh, pretty much all the drivers at the end of the races were giving waves uh, to the marshals post that they were able to spot. And they were able to know where they are because uh, at the start of each qualifying session, at the start of each race, green flags are waved to indicate the position. And uh, <laughs> I'm, I won't... I won't deny that it was quite thrilling waving green flags and seeing these uh, uh, fast cars going past, especially for one race in particular, uh, we had a safety car restart and I, I got to wave the green flag. <laughs> wow, I'll, I'll never forget that. But yes, um, if you go on if you search in Google about marshalling, marshalling being a voluntary thing, um, there's different links. I can't remember all the links off the top of my head, but there's certainly quite a few there. I'm going to be, excuse me, having a look myself, but uh, that doesn't mean that you, my audience, don't have to either. It's a rewarding experience and the more you marshal the more chance you get to marshal at bigger events because all you do really is uh, mention what races you want to marshal at so it doesn't have to take up your spare time if you don't want it to when I mentioned I was unable to film about my uh, marshalling day at Brands Hatch that does not mean I was completely devoid of uh, access to pictures though. Uh, when I get the chance I will upload a separate video for for slideshow purposes of uh, some pictures I've seen people take of the day at Brands Hatch. Obviously after the races have finished. So. Um, I'll upload that as soon as I can. In the meantime, keep watching. Don't touch that dial.